Hey guys, this is Scott from Lunchy Milsom. I've got another video for you here, and it's something new that I haven't done before on my channel. It's just a little topical discussion where I talk about uh, something that's on my heart, and I'd like to hear your guys' feedback in the comments and what you guys would have done differently and stuff like that. And um, the reason for this uh, new idea is because of an incident that happened a couple months ago at an event we went to that really 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 got me thinking about airsoft and uh, as you can tell from the title it's how serious is airsoft so we went to an event in Wyoming here called Marsh Over Drugs and it was hosted by Wyoming Airsoft and it was a great event we had a lot of fun it's a hot long day it was, it was about a six to eight hour war and there was a, a wide variety of players there were some younger kids there and then there were some older guys so it was a really big mixture and it was a six to eight hour op and it was really casual and really f just just to get to know people and have fun and get a good experience and stuff like that and um, just to give you guys some context I was made uh, the cartel lead for one of the teams there were three factions two cartels and one special forces the cartels were supposed to find drugs and sell it to a mob boss and special forces were supposed to destroy it stuff like that and I was one of the cartel leads and I had about 25 to 30 guys in my group and the other cartel lead left really early on I do not know why so they got another guy in charge and then he ended up leaving or I don't know what happened to him but they got another guy in charge who I never heard heard of before or seen and uh, come the end of the day there was a kind of like a joint op where both cartels joined up against each other and they went against the special forces and it had been a long six to eight hour day we had a lot of fun we had a lot of laughs because there were times where the two cartels got together and were trying to sell things to the mob boss and it was it was pretty funny i got some pretty good footage of that and so it was just a really casual day you know and uh and this final op was just to round things up it was it was about like 30 to 40 of us the two cartels going against just eight to ten special Jimmy's forces so it was it wasn't like it was going to be a challenge or anything like that it was just a, a fun way to finish off the day and we had to hike uh, a quite a distance well not not that bad across this road as you guys can see in the video um, to this new area where the special forces were waiting in an ambush or whatever and we're supposed to eliminate them and uh, as we we're walking this guy that had somehow got in charge of his cartel or the other cartel or whatever just decided to completely hey, take Jim, over Jim. and Come I mean on. I was I was okay with that I was just like alright I'll just do whatever you know I still had most of my guys there and all my squads around us and but he became a, a total dick and he started like shouting and screaming at people and taking it far too seriously like we were in Vietnam or something like that and, <laughs> and this guy was in he was probably in his 20s you know young 20s I don't even know what he was thinking and I've got a recorded footage of him flipping out at me because I was standing next to my brother in the middle of the road and we were just talking about the the day and the event and some of the things that had happened and and we were just you know just having fun and he freaks out and I'll play you guys the clip in a little bit and you know, I was like, after he did that, you know, I didn't react. I didn't do anything. I just was like, all right, I'll just follow orders. I don't want this to escalate into anything big, you know. And so I just went along with it. But the way he acted really made me think, why, why is this so serious? Why is this so important? This 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds, you know, in hoodies and a Walmart gun standing next to us and if I was that age and I was just starting out air airsofting and I saw how big of a dick some people can be you know especially those in charge or put themselves in charge I would not want to play with them anymore I would not want to go to these events anymore and I, I feel as every airsofter that's a little bit more experienced it's our job it's kinda like our duty to uh, make the environment of airsoft fun and accessible for everyone you know where our goal isn't to win and stomp the enemy it's to have a a fun time with your with your team and the other team you know with of course being a little bit competitive trying to win but not taking things so seriously where you scream and cuss and you shout and you give out to people you know and because we're supposed to make it entertaining for other players 
especially the other teams, so that they'll keep coming out and wanting to play, you know. And uh, so I'll, I'll play you guys this clip, and, and then I'll tell you something else that I heard about uh, later on that happened in this event. <laughs> so you can guys see where I kind of got upset, you know. He absolutely flipped out and cussed out and just freaked out and was taking it far too serious. And the area that we were in was a public road, so we weren't going to be engaging anyone for any time soon. And we were still just walking along, and you know. And of course, it's been the long day. I'm going to talk to my brother about how the game went and talk to my other guys and. He wanted us staggered out a huge distance from each other so we couldn't talk to each other, and you know, and, and you know, I kind of understand, you know, making it look like we're in the military and hiking and stuff like that, but reacting like that, he could have just come up to me and said, hey man, I'm trying to make it look cool for these kids or something like that, and could you just move over? And said he absolutely lost the plot, freaked out. You know, I don't even know this guy's name, and... <laughs> I had my own group of guys that I was in charge of, you know, my own cartel, and he'd just been temporarily put in charge, and he freaked out, screamed and cussed at me and, and all my other guys too, and I don't have the footage for this part, but I, I mean, I have it on my gun cam, but you can't hear the audio, but uh, one of the guys that was uh, on the SAC team, uh, another team up here in Cheyenne uh, Airsoft, and we, we, we play a lot with each other, they're a great group of guys. But he came up to me when we went on another, another scouting mission uh, and he told me what he heard that this guy was saying about my brother and I and it, it was very vulgar and <laughs> real childish and disrespectful. He, I don't even know if I want to say it, but you know, he was basically saying that my brother and I were basically, you know, sucking each other's you know what. And I mean, what what is that? How, what, you're trying to make yourself look better in front of other players or try and make yourself look cool and tough that's that's just stupid that's just you know where there's no respect in that and I feel like airsoft should be all about respecting the other players and even though you think you are the the alpha male you know you, you don't have to act like a, a total a douchebag you know and so this kind of ruined the end of the day I mean I had a lot of fun the entire event I, I, I love the guys at Wyoming that do the Wyoming Airsoft Group, and uh, they, they really do put on good, uh, good events, and they really try to reach out. But when you get players like this that put them, try to put themselves in power, try to, you know, make a stamp, you know, they, they just kind of ruin it, you know. You just got to make it fun and more accessible for other players. You don't want to become a dictator. You don't want to become an absolute douchebag because this guy... You know, I'll, I'll never want to play with again. You know, if I see him, I'll just be like, ah, there's no point playing with this guy. He's just going to make this day suck. So, I, I want to know what you guys think. You know, as you can tell from my tone, it's uh, something that really ticked me off. And I annoyed a bunch of my guys. But, I mean, some of my guys find it uh, funny. We, we, we Facebook message each other. Or they Facebook message me. And whenever we see each other at events, they're like, hey, get out of the middle of the road. You know, and... This, this is a joke because it was kind of, they found it kind of comical, you know, that someone would freak out over something so petty, you know, so something so small. And, and, I, and I know most of you guys are probably going to agree with me on this, that that is no way to react in an airsoft situation. Uh, so, and, uh, yeah, so let me, let, me, let me know what you guys think in the comments and, and tell me how you guys would have reacted, you know. Uh, some people probably would have acted more defensively or or sh shouted back but and sometimes that's usually what I do but I don't know this this is this time I was just like you know what I'm just not gonna just go deal with any of this crap you know and I just left it as it is but I hope I hope this video makes you guys uh, think about how you act on the field um, and how you act with other players especially the younger ones and and this the and how how you're portraying airsoft to people you know you, you, we wanted to be a fun safe you know uh, enjoyable experience for everyone that comes out whether you win or lose you know and it's, it's 
you know, how serious is Airsoft, you know, as the title says. And so, yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. And if you want to see me do more discussions and stuff like that, just let me know in the comments. I should be having a couple more videos coming up pretty soon of Eurasia Prime, uh, this event down in Kiowa Creek in Colorado, hosted by JTAC. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> I put up the promo a while ago, but I haven't got around to it. I graduated college and then I moved out into a new place and then I started working and got an internship and so I've been pretty busy but hopefully I can get a few videos up for you guys and well if you enjoyed this just leave a like and I'd really like to hear you guys' feedback so thanks for watching I appreciate appreciate your guys' support you've really helped this channel grow really quickly really fast so uh, I'm I love you guys so peace